Good day. Today I'm going to show you a LinkedIn um, assessment um, based on the front end web development. So first I go to my LinkedIn page, okay, and I click on my profile, all right, and then I'm going to minimize that. I'm trying to scroll down here and see where the LinkedIn is. There we go. Take skill quiz. Okay. Here they've given me a couple of recommendations of what I should be taking. Um, I'm wanting to see all. And let's have a look and see if they've got um, front end. There we go. Front end web development. So what they're doing is they're saying this is a front end development assessment. CSS. CSS layout, HTML, JavaScript performance. Uh, 15 multiple choice questions, one and a half minutes per question. Score in the top 30 to earn a badge. All right, so let's go. Clicking on start. Variables declared with the let keyword have what type of scope? We've got block scope, inline scope, function scope, or global scope. I'm going to go with block scope for this one. Okay. Which image matches the flex layout defined in this style rule? We've got a dot container. We're saying display flex. Then we're saying dot container div last child margin left auto. So if we have a look, okay, here's our um, div box, and we've got all these div elements inside here, but all of these are assigned on the left, okay? All of these are assigned to the right. Um, this is assigned to the left, but then there's one somehow in the middle, and then this one's all assigned to the left, and the last one's assigned to the right. So I'm going to choose this option. Okay. When might an empty alt attribute be the correct value? When you cannot think of useful alt text, when the image has come from a CMS, when the image is purely decorative, when you don't think it would be interesting to someone who cannot see it. I'm going to go with when the image is purely decorative. Okay. Which HTML element is not considered a landmark element? So they've got form, nav, main, and ul. I'm going to go with ul since that's just your list. Okay. Which line of code, if applied to all flex items in a flex container, would cause each flex item to take up an equal share of the total width of the container. For example, if there are four items, they would get 25% of each. So we've got a flex 1, 1 auto, flex 1, 0, 0, flex 1, 0 auto, and flex initial. I'm going to go with flex 1, 1 auto. Okay. Which part of the URL https colon forward slash forward slash app dot uniswap dot org forward slash pool specifies the domain name dot org uniswap dot org app dot uniswap or https I'm going to go with uniswap dot org okay how many columns will there be given this code We've got a container, the width is 600 pixels, the column width is 200 pixels, the column gap is 50 pixels. So if we've got 50 and 50 on either side, then we've got 300, okay? So that would make one um, column. Then 50 and 50 on another side plus the 200 makes two. So it has a choice of one, two, three, or four. I'm going to go with 2. Okay. 
Which description correctly describes the initial values of flex items if the only thing you have done is apply display flex to their parent? Items in a column lined up at the start and do not stretch to fill the container. Items stay in a column until you add some flex properties. Items display in a row lined up at the start and stretch to the full container. Items display in a row lined up at the start and do not stretch to the full container. Okay, so I'm going to go with items display in a row lined up at the start and stretch to the full container. Okay. A video on your web page does not display and the console shows an error about mixed content. What is happening? The page is loaded via HTTPS, but the video is being served insecurely as HTTP, and the browser is blocking it. The web page is using a doc type, which renders it incapable of displayed video in addition to other web content. The video is from a source that cannot be displayed in your location for legal reasons. Your browser does not support HTML5 video. I'm going to go with the page is loaded via HTTPS, but the video is being served insecurely as HTTP, and the browser is blocking it. Which style will change the color of text um, when you've got site, and then uh, Noam Komsky, and forward slash site? So we have dot site and we're saying text should be cyan we've got site and the font color should be cyan we've got site color is cyan and we've got site text color is cyan I'm going to go with site color cyan okay what is webpack primarily used for sharing javascript code with other people Bundling individual JavaScript files for use in your web browser. Making JavaScript reliance sites accessible to users who do not have JavaScript turned on. Source control. I've never used Webpack, so I'm going to go and use my friend Google and say Webpack. Okay, and find out what is Webpack. It is a module bundler. Its main purpose is to bundle JavaScript files for usage in a browser. Okay, so bundling JavaScript files for use in your website. Okay, I'm going to choose that option. Which HTML element represents either a scalar value? <clears throat> Which HTML element represents either a scalar value? with a known range or a fractional value. So we've got opt group, range, data list, or meter. I'm going to go with meter. Which HTML will result in text being highlighted in yellow? Dot highlight, background color is yellow, and then we've got options, span class, um, highlight, okay, hashtag BLM, span, or span style, highlight, okay, um, hashtag BLM span, uh, highlight, hashtag BLM, forward slash highlight, or div ID, highlight, slash, uh, hashtag BLM, slash div. I'm going to go with a class, since this is using a dot over here. And I know classes are normally represented by a dot. In this code, what is the term for the H1? H1's color is red. The font size is 5EM. So is it a selector, a declarator, a combinator, or a markup? Um, I'm going to go with a markup. Okay. In the following code, 
the fruit the variable fruit has been assigned a value of apple how would you change the value to plum so it says let fruit equal apple and so we should be able to say fruit equals plum let's go and see how did we do great work you earned a badge you're in the top 15 percent of 34k people who took this thank you for watching this video i hope that it's been helpful and i really appreciate you watching and learning thank you very much goodbye